Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hello everyone. Like any other uh, ultrasound study, having good and practical anatomy knowledge is essential for performing any type of the ultrasound study. I'm going to uh, have a short review, most practical uh, tips for the ultrasound, especially the renovascular uh, ultrasound. As we know, we have two kidneys, uh, one each side of the vertebra is bean shaped with dimension average 12 by 6 by 3 centimeter, has two upper and lower or superior and inferior pole, and has one venting inside that pelvis come out and vessel, renal vessel, artery and vein go and in and out at that region that we called it hilum. In the cross section uh, here uh, is a coronal uh, cross section. We can appreciate those structure. Uh, the parenchymal of the kidney here, you can see this is all parenchymal of the kidney, has two regions. One of them is medulla that include uh, pyramid and uh, renal column and one is outside we call it cortex inside the hilum at the hilum end to the sinus is sinus a real space that surround the pelvis and major and minor calyx uh, inside of the sinus of uh, kidney we usually is filled with the fat in ultrasound those structures can be appreciated especially in pediatric and neonate that I'm going to explain a little on that. Here we can see uh, uh, right uh, kidney, upper pole is more posterior, lower or inferior pole, more anterior. Here we have cortex, those vessel uh, that you can see later, we are going to deal with those vessel, arcuate and interpyramid uh, and interlobar. Uh, artery and vein later in uh, next slide I am going to go to detail the structure vascular structure of the kidney we have uh, usually the medulla is a little uh, more hypoecho compared to the cortex especially at the level of the pyramid those pyramid as you can see in neonate we can appreciate very easy you can see those pyramid shape that they are at this level you can see and about that cortex and here because it's neonate uh, you have to remember lobulation is uh, normal and common finding and even small degree of the hydronephrosis dilated pelvis is still normal those structure in neonate and pediatric group can be appreciated very easy here we have other structure the sinus of the kidney on ultrasound usually is hyper echo we can see some area hypo echo that can be usually cross section of the vessel but we have to have uh, differentiated those uh, hypo echo on echo more accurate on echo area inside of the sinus uh, from the dilated pelvis and calyx, uh, calyx that is another lecture we are going to talk about in hydronephrosis and reflux. Now, based on uh, that explanation, can you guess uh, which view is this? Is sagittal or coronal? And uh, what is your landmark? Now, let's see. Of course, this is a sagittal view, means because we don't see hilum, all the uh, parenchyma, you can see all parenchyma around the kidney very well. So we're cutting this way. And in that case, we know this is a sagittal view. If we go coronal or a little more medial, in that case, for example, if we uh, our plane pass through this region, in that case, we can see 
hilum that uh, it's uh, determined by interrupted parenchyma at this level, medial level, like this. You can see this is coronal view or this view, sagittal medial, depending of the your location of your uh, probe and other feature. You can determine exactly which view is that. Just remember, sagittal, you don't see hilum in coronal or medial and then you can see high long on those are la your landmark kidneys uh, along with the major vessel in, in abdomen they are retroperitoneal structure means covered by parietal peritoneum and completely uh, packed by the prenephric uh, fat and it has its own capsule uh, fibrosis capsule uh, that beside of the preternal the uh, kidney has its own capsule too here at you can see at the level of the, from the posterior view right side a little is lower both of them almost at this level of 11 and 12 ribs. But remember, because of the liver pushing down, right side is one or two centimeter or a little more sometimes, depending on the body habitus, a little lower than the left side. And this affects the orientation and location of those renal artery and vein that later we talk about that just keep in your mind this presentation how they are uh, location and level of the each of them since those uh, kidney are retroperitoneal structure we anterior to the kidney we have different structure at different level and knowing each of those level what the structure you will see is very important when you are scanning, especially they are can be some other vessel. For example, here at the level of the left kidney, mid uh, mid kidney, many times we can see splenic artery that we have to not be confused, uh, not get it confused by the uh, and uh, take it as a renal uh, left renal artery or here you can see other structure anterior to the right kidney we have colon we have stomach then we have spleen after all of them then we have retroperitoneal that is vessels and kidneys that is the reason for scanning uh, kidney all retroperitoneal structure uh, the patient need be Fasting at least for eight hours, six to eight hours, 12 hours is the best if we want to have do renovascular study because it's very uh, challenging, especially at this region that we have all intestine, duodenum, and colon at that area. Here we have the same uh, cross section, but uh, from inferior view or uh, caudal view, as you can see. At this level, we have fat, pre-renal fat, then we have pancreas anterior to the aorta, IVC, then stomach, here they have duodenum, jejunum, and spleen next to the left kidney. We have left colon, and here at the superior pole, we have uh, transverse colon at this level too. Here, as you can see, exactly those structural directly contact with the kidneys are at the right side, second part of the duodenum. At the left side, uh, the flexure of the duodenum, uh, jejunum, you can see here. So if any gas be here or here, it's obscured the uh, view of the hilum of the left side or right side. Here you have to make attention. That's really important because we use as a landmark. A pancreas, if you can see the 
second branches the first branches almost is about the border of superior border of the uh, pancreas that celiac then become uh, two three branches one of the most important here with maybe with deal what with it is spreading artery then right a few one or two centimeter below that we have SMA or superior mesenteric artery that pass through the tissue of the kind of the passing through the tissue of neck of the uh, pancreas and uh, right after that branch we will see those two branches of the left and right renal artery that in the next slides I am going to detail exactly how the sonography landmark are and how we can find them. Just remember this uh, orientation and those other organs adjacent to the kidneys. Here the same, depending on each uh, level we are scanning, we will see different structure that based on those landmarks, we can find whatever we are looking for very easy that I'm going to explain about them. 